Our other big story at noon here, Vice President Kamala Harris is in Milwaukee. The visit coming less than two months from a crucial election. The vote here in Wisconsin could swing power in Washington. In just about an hour, the Vice President will speak at the Democratic Attorneys General Association Conference downtown. And then after that, she'll meet with Latino leaders and celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. Our Elaine Rojas Castillo joins us from the University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee, with a look ahead to today's visit. The White House says Vice President Kamala Harris is in town today to meet with local Latino leaders as well as celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. This visit is about two months before the upcoming midterm elections. And while it remains to be seen if Harris will campaign for some of her fellow Democrats while she's here in town, she'll also make a speech in front of the Democratic Attorneys General Association Conference at the Pfister Hotel. In response to the vice president's visit, the Republican National Committee and the Republican Party of Wisconsin are hosting a press conference where the GOP says leaders are expected to focus on their thoughts on the work the Biden-Harris administration has done so far, particularly when it comes to crime and inflation. This is the vice president's last visit to Milwaukee since last January when she was here to advocate for the replacement of lead pipes. Reporting in Milwaukee, Elaine Rojas Castillo, TMJ4 News. And we do have a crew following the vice president and standing by for her speech at one o'clock this afternoon. You can hear her comments and how Republicans are responding on Team J4 News at four o'clock. Well, Harris is the former Democratic Attorney General of California. Wisconsin's current Democratic Attorney General Josh Call is on the ballot in November, facing a challenge from Republican Eric Tony, the district attorney for Fond du Lac County.